Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Now we're getting to one of my favorite times of the year, and that's our opportunity to talk about perhaps my favorite Viking, Dalvin Cook. Now, why is Dalvin my favorite? Because he is such a complete running back. As a running back, you've got to be strong. You've got to be fast. You've got to be smart. You've got to be able to set up blocks. And then you also have to be very, very tough. And Dalvin Cook does all those things. And then on top of it, I feel he is the heart and soul of this Minnesota Vikings team. But it doesn't matter what I think. Let's take a look at the film and see what that says about Dalvin Cook and why I will continue to say he is one of, if not the best running backs in the National Football League. Now, as we get into our dissection of Dalvin, we'll start with the passing game. Now, as a running back, yeah, it's all about running the football, but you have to contribute in the passing game. And these are some plays that show how Dalvin is able to do that. And he does it not just catching the football, but also protecting the quarterback. And that's where we'll start. This first play against New England Patriots, you're going to see a kind of a, a balanced front, but you're going to get a zone style of blitz. The offensive line is set up to move to the left. You'll see the offensive guard move to his left. O'Neal opens up to the right, and you're going to see that space that's open right in between. And as that space opens up, Dalvin doesn't wait for that DB to get to him. He goes and brings the fight to him and attacks him and tries to hit him, gives him that shoulder. Not all running backs protect well. Not They know they don't get paid to protect. They don't like to protect. But in this play, Dalvin is definitely stepping up and doing his job. I love to put this play in. We all remember it. This is it. This is the fourth and 18. Ironically, it is almost exactly the same formation in the same route as the Minneapolis Miracle. But you're going to see Dalvin, as soon as this ball snap, he takes a step up and, uh, you know, he gets in the way a little bit. He gives that tackle some time. He gives Kirk Cousins some time to get this football. And look at that catch by Jefferson. I can't see that enough. But Dalvin really stepping up, doing his job, knowing exactly where to protect on Von Miller and what he needed to do. And he got it done. He slowed him down. Now, on this play, you're going to see an example of a running back having to scan, right? So he's to the right of Kirk Cousins. But the defensive tackle and the defensive end of Miami are going to run a stunt underneath. And that linebacker is going to come right off their rear end. He's going to just chase that in. And, and for Dalvin, he has to know that that linebacker, no matter what gap he goes into, is the unblocked man in this protection against this defensive formation. So once the ball snap, you'll see both those defensive ends come underneath. They're shortening that edge. And then Dalvin works his way across the formation and is able to get a shoulder into the linebacker to give Cousins time to get this football off and move the chains for a first down. So great job of knowing the front, knowing the protection, scanning, and then getting there and making it happen. So we've seen examples of Dalvin working himself in protection, but as a receiver, I think this play against Washington is, is really the, the best example of what he can do out of the backfield. You'll see Dalvin up at the top of the screen to the left of Kirk Cousins and then right in front of him is Hawkinson. Now Hawkinson's going to work his way up the field and Dalvin's going to step in behind him but Hawkinson bends this thing in right about at the goal line and you'll see Dalvin fake the out and what he's trying to do is get that DB to close on him so he can turn and get up the field. Now this is an unbelievably well-thrown football by Kirk Cousins but it's right in the hands of Dalvin really a one-handed grab. This was a huge play in a huge game, but it was Dalvin out of the backfield as a receiver, putting up some points. Now this next play against the Colts isn't Dalvin out of the backfield, but they line up and empty. And you still have him out to the left of Kirk Cousins on the outside. The key here is what Kevin O'Connell said when we brought him in and he was talking about these plays after the game, was Dalvin, when he catches this football, if you notice, his feet are planted in the ground. Right? He's able to catch this football and seamlessly turn and run and get north and south. It's not He's not jumping to catch the ball. His feet don't leave the ground. As soon as that ball is caught, he's heading north and south. Here it is. There's one cutback. Makes two guys miss. The defensive lineman in pursuit. Too slow to catch him. But he makes his way into the end zone. Just an unbelievable open field play. Reception and run by Dalvin Cook. Now, because Dalvin is such a good runner, it opens up the play action passing game and then the screen game off of that and you'll see this in another play against the colts you get that hard downhill play action 
and then Dalvin works his way out to the top of your screen and as he looks back you'll see the linebacker for the Colts recognizes it he tries to get north and south great job here by Ezra Cleveland to get himself in the way now the key to this is as Dalvin gets down the field to about oh the, the 48 yard line he's about to get tackled he's hemmed up by all these Colts defenders but watch that move he makes this cutback move and that buys three or four more yards enough to be able to move the chain. So the first defender that gets to Dalvin doesn't always make the tackle. Quite often he misses. But what a great open field move by Dalvin Cook running after the catch. Just a very, very good run after the catch running back. Now, another example of an empty formation, you see Dalvin at the bottom hash mark. And he's just lined up there because he's been there to help with protection, right? So no one smells a rat. They know Dalvin will, will stick around and will protect the passer. But after the ball snap, you see him get a nice little, nice little push on that defensive end to make sure he's going inside. And the beauty of this is, is once Dalvin catches his football and turns north and south, the defensive end in pursuit really has an angle on him. But Dalvin has such acceleration. He's able to just turn on the Jets Get downhill, another huge block by Ezra Cleveland, gets the guy on the ground, but that turn, right? Feet in the ground, north and south, very, very good, very, very deadly as a running back out of the backfield. And finally, Dalvin is a receiver, a little bit of a razzle-dazzle play here. So Cousins, once he takes this snap, you see Dalvin step up, a little bit of a play fake like he's in protection, quick pass out to JJ to make it look like it's a whip screen, Dalvin leaks his way out. The offensive linemen leak their way out. So up to this point, it's a pretty simple wide open throw and catch, but it's what Dalvin does afterwards. As he gets himself down the field, you'll see the linebacker crossing the face of Bradbury. He pauses, lets that happen, and then cuts back and is able to tack on another five or six yards. So he has the speed and the strength, but he also has the patience to set the blocks up in front of him and a beautiful job doing it on that play. So as you can see, Dalvin was highly effective in the passing game, and that's important. We don't want to overlook that because to be a complete football player, to be a complete running back, you have to contribute in the passing game. But what's up next is my favorite part, and that's Dalvin running the football.